the F-14 Tomcat by Heepler Simulations. This thing is an absolute beauty. And what we're going to do here today is show you exactly how to use laser-guided bombs with the Jester AI. Now, I haven't used the F-14 in a long time with air to ground, and I wanted to come back and explore what they've done. So what I've been doing here lately is getting on the Gray Flag server and creating waypoints on the F-10 map and having Jester AI slew the targeting pod over for me and then find targets for me and drop some big boom. Huge shout out to Reflected Simulations for these amazing paint skins. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description below and in the pinned comment so you can go check out his channel as well as his paint skins. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and learn how to use the F-14 Tomcat with the Jester AI while dropping laser guided bombs. So the first thing we need to do in the F-14 before we take off is set our laser code. So bring up the kneeboard with right shift K and then change the laser code to whatever you want. If you're on a multiplayer server, I definitely suggest changing the laser code. For this example, I'm gonna choose 1667, and to change those, I'm using the associated key commands on the keyboard, which is right shift, right alt, one, two, or three, depending on the laser code. All right, so we're in the cockpit up in the air, and waypoint one is our designated target area. For this example, we're gonna click air to ground, and then change the mode to TV. Jester will automatically bring up the lantern, Laser armed. And there you go. Laser armed. Let's put on the master arm. Bring up the Jester menu and select your ordinance. Today we're going to do okay. GBU 16. And Jester will automatically set all the fusing and everything for you so you don't have to do anything else. At the beginning of the video, I did do 1667 for the laser guided bombs. Let's put that into our TGP. So we'll go to set laser code. One is already pre selected, so all I have to do is hit 667. Just yeah, verifying yeah. that with the kneeboard. And that looks good, 1667. So again, waypoint one in this example is going to be our target waypoint. So we need to tell Jester to slew the TGP over there. So we'll go to set Q mode, Q waypoint, and then select waypoint one. You can see Jester automatically slewed it on over there. Now we have to tell him to search, and I always tell him to do any active targets. Switching to area track, captured Sam. We're in laser range. Target is to our right. Okay, so he captured a SAM, targets to the right. Let's put the wing sweep into bomb mode. So I'm gonna hit the associated key command for bomb mode. There it goes, watching those wings come back. Turning to the right towards our target waypoint. Jester will talk you on, so you don't have to worry All about right, that. So there you go, come right 28 degrees. So we're still on our right turn target area is about our 12 30 to 1 o'clock low so 10 seconds he's gonna tell me one he's gonna tell me one to drop okay that's it drop it all right pickle so jester is gonna do everything else for the lasing all we have to do is make sure we don't mask the targeting pod. So I'm going to turn on the autopilot here real quick because I like to make things easier. And let's zoom in here. Alright, so the L is flashing, so the laser is on. Jester even verifies that for you. That's a hit. That's a hit. Good hit, good hit. Okay, so if there's targets in the area, he should find another target automatically. Okay, I got that captured Sam. Okay, you got another Sam captured. Let's say you want to go to another target. You can go to next target. Okay, that armor's captured. And if you want to go to the previous target, same thing. Jester AI. Captured Sam. Previous target. Okay, so that was an example of how to use Jester AI with a waypoint. Now let's do a target of opportunity with the Q eyeballs. So bring up the Jester AI menu, go to head control, and then Q eyeballs. So there's a little red circle. You place that wherever the targets are, hit the Jester AI menu button again, and Jester will automatically slew the targeting pod to that location. And you can see right here, there it is. There's our target location that we were just looking at. Now let's go to search for targets, and then any active targets. Yep, uh, captured armor at the valid laser range. Come left, come left. All right, so let's turn left and go inbound on this target. 10 seconds. All right, 10 seconds till bomb drop. 
I did do a boo-boo and I forgot that I only had two GBU 16s and I had two GBU 24s. So I selected the GBU 24 here right at the last second at the pickle. He armed it and then I hit the pickle button and we still got it. So a huge GBU 24 going away. And the only reason I kept this footage is because this GBU 24 took out all of the targets. crap that was some big boom so that was a gbu 24 monster all right for our next example we're going to use the direct head control so we're going to go to head control and then direct head control you can see this little red dot all you have to do is place that into the little red circle on the targeting pod now wherever i move the red dot with my head it moves with the targeting pod so i found a building and all i have to do is hit the jester ai menu button and it saves it now i'm going to go to next page and then designate option three. Laser Ranger valid. Come right. Then we're gonna turn around towards the target. So we can drop a GBU-24 on this building. So this is an example if there's a bunker at a waypoint or if you need to take out a bridge, you know, any static object that Jester won't pick up, you can slew the targeting pod onto it, designate it, and then Jester will do everything else. Left three degrees. So here we are, we're just refining everything. Here comes the free fall line on the TGP on the Left right side. Ten seconds. So 10 seconds. Dead on center line. Five seconds. All right, pickle now. All right, here we go, pickle. And Jester automatically lays it for us. So this is a huge GBU-24 going on to a static object using the direct head control. Make sure we don't mask the target. Going into a right-hand orbit. So 10 seconds. Let's watch from the outside. Oh yeah, baby. Big boom. Okay, so that's one way you can do the laser guided bombs with Jester AI. Let's talk about my favorite way to do it, and that's creating a mark point with the F10 map. So we're in the F10 map. We found a target location. We'll click the mark label button and let's name it. We'll just name it uh, Step Brew. Go back to the cockpit. Then we go to the Jester AI. We'll go to set Q mode and then Q map marker and then select Step Brew. Roger that, Wilco. Okay, area track selected. Alright, so Jester found Waypoint Step Bro from the F10 map. Let's select our ordinates. We'll use the GBU-24s. Okay. Next, we gotta tell Jester to search for targets. So we'll bring up the Jester wheel and go to search for targets and then select any active. Okay, that armor's captured at the valid laser range. So let's, let's find a better target, so we'll just keep doing next target armor. until we find something that we like. Armor captured. Armor captured. Armor captured. Armor captured. Okay, this looks better. Looks like we have a row of uh, BTRs. 23 degrees left. All right, let's head towards the target area. Follow Jester's commands. Come left, three degrees. Roger that, Jester. Come left one degree. It's actually a nice Ten row. Let's see if we can get the middle target. So we'll bring up the Jester wheel. Next Five target. Seconds. Next Armor target. Captured. Armor captured. There we go. Pickle, pickle, pickle. All right, pickle. My laser. It's a GBU-24, so let's see if we can take out several targets with one bomb here. So again, we made the map marker on the F10 map, and then we slewed the TGP on over to our map marker. So that's what we were doing here. Let's adjust the contrast and the brightness here so you can see a little bit better. 
the L is flashing. So the laser is firing. And big boom. There we go, baby. Okay, terminate. Jester called terminate. Captured armor. So just remember if there's another target in the area that you're looking at, Jester will automatically capture it for you, which is a nice feature. So next, let's take a look at the designate mode through the HUD. So let's bring up the Jester AI wheel, set Q mode, go to Q HUD, and then whatever the HUD's looking at, you can see the little wings on the HUD. Whatever that's looking at, that's where the TGP's looking. So this is another good feature to use. We're gonna bring it around onto a target for us. And then when you find the target, you level out, try to get it as accurate as possible. I'm gonna zoom in here. So there's the target area right there. So bring up the Jester AI wheel and go to ground stabilize area. Switching to area track. So there we go, we got it in area track. Now we'll go for search for targets. Any active targets. Laser range is valid. 17 degrees right. Yep, uh, captured armor. All right, there we go. So he says captured armor, but it's actually a building Less that I placed. Degrees. Five seconds. All right, pickle now. There we go, Michael. pickle. <laughs> so GBU-24 is away. And that's how easy it is to use Jester AI. TTI. Just making sure we're not about to crash. Going back to the weapon for that awesome boom. There it is. Uh, let's terminate. Good job, Jester. Laser on. Captured. Thank you all for watching my video on the F-14 Tomcat. How to use Jester AI while dropping laser-guided bombs. Hope to see you on the next video. See ya!